Hi friends, this is John Masseria. Uh, I wanna thank you for watching this video. It's gonna be under 15 minutes and informative. I plan on making three of these videos involving ethanol and the deception. My goal is to uh, educate people on what ethanol does and how it rips us off at the gas pump. And I plan to prove beyond a reasonable doubt we are all being taxed illegally on ethanol at the pump and plan to make a class action lawsuit. Anyone wishing to get involved can contact me at MissariaJYahoo.com or here on Facebook. Thanks and enjoy this short video. Ethanol, Gasoline, and Octane. Do you see the title of this video? Ethanol, Gasoline, and Octane. When I type this title into YouTube, I get few videos and there isn't much interest in the subject. And if you watch a few videos that are available, you find people who haven't a clue about ethanol as a fuel. They are fooled by the high octane rating of ethanol and they think it means high energy. But ethanol has very little energy and I'll tell you all about ethanol, gasoline and octane in this video because YouTube has very little on the subject. I watched one burn test on a YouTube video whereby some clown burned ethanol in one dish and gasoline in the other dish and he argued that ethanol burns cleaner than gasoline. It didn't occur to him that ethanol burns cleaner because it has little energy. You know what the soot is in the gasoline dish? It's carbon. Which one is most likely to have soot? The one with more carbons in the molecule chain or the one with fewer carbons in the molecule chain and less energy. Ethanol has two carbons and high octane gasoline has eight carbons. Does this have anything to do with energy? Well, yes it does because eight carbon molecules have a lot more places where an oxygen can attach to release energy. What is meant by burning? Burning is oxidation. What is oxidation? It's when an oxygen molecule enters the bond between carbon and hydrogen and energy is released. Oxidize paper and you see a flame. The flame is burning and we call that oxidation. It's oxygen entering the carbon-based molecule and this is a branch of organic chemistry or the study of carbon-based materials. All living things have carbon chains and they burn. Petroleum products also have carbon chains and they burn because they have energy which can be released by oxidation or burning. The more places on a molecule where you can insert an oxygen, the more energy you can get from the fuel. Ethanol has very few places and gasoline has many places where an oxygen can join the molecule and each place will result in a release of energy as oxygen joins the molecule. Diesel has 18 carbons in its chain and gasoline only has 8. So which one has more energy? Diesel does. Ethanol has only 2 carbons. It has very little energy. Are you light beer drinkers paying attention? Cheaper gasolines have six or seven carbons in their chain and less energy, but that's not the problem. The problem is they will combust under low pressure and prematurely explode in the cylinder and this causes engine knock and that can damage your race car. So alcohol is burned in race cars which doesn't explode so easily, even though 51% more fuel is used, at least you don't have premature ignition. You don't want to damage a $500,000 engine, do you? Don't confuse the high octane property of ethanol with the power in the fuel because that's not what octane is. Octane is not the power in fuel, it's the measurement of when the fuel explodes under pressure. Some guys are high octane and some guys are low octane. Few mechanics understand this concept, but I studied chemistry in school and I have a basic understanding of what octane is, and so I'm going to try to explain it to all the light beer drinkers because you guys think you're drinking real beer. It's snot. You put ethanol in your car and you think it's real gasoline. It's snot. In fact, your nose is full of snot. Ha! Now go blow your nose and come back here and we'll continue our discussion. Each carbon makes four bonds. And if each is attached to a hydrogen, then each 
has places to attach an oxygen to release energy in the form of heat. The heat causes rapid expansion of the gas and that pushes the cylinder. The car goes forward. Diesel fuel has 18 carbons and that's a lot more places where you can attach oxygen. So diesel fuel has a lot more energy than gasoline. Ethanol with its two carbons has very little chance to produce energy compared with diesel and its 18 carbons. Do you get it? Now ask any mechanic what is octane and I'll bet you a donut he doesn't know. I know what octane is and soon you're going to know but your mechanic doesn't know and I doubt that he will ever know unless you tell him what is octane. Does anybody out there know? Okay I'll tell you. This is a piston and the fuel is sucked in and compressed. So is that octane when the fuel is sucked in? No. Be patient and I'll tell you what octane is. Ooh, ooh. Okay, dirt bag in the front row. Octane is the measure of power you get from gasoline. No, you light beer drinker. That's not what octane is. But that's what everyone thinks octane is. And the oil companies use this false belief to push ethanol off on you. This is like watering down your beer and charging you the same price for it. If octane is the amount of power that you get from the fuel, then ethane would not have a high octane rating. It would be very low compared to gasoline. Watch the piston. Do you see it rising to top dead center? Well, when fuel doesn't explode under pressure and waits for top dead center, it's called a high octane fuel. The fuels which do not explode easily under pressure are the longer chain, higher energy fuels as a general rule. And so people think that ethanol is a high energy fuel. It is not. Ethanol just has a high octane property in that it doesn't explode under pressure. It doesn't explode because it has no energy. It has only two carbons. Chemically, it's too much like light beer. I mean, I mean water. I get those two mixed up. And water doesn't explode under the pressures that are prevalent in gasoline engines. Look at this chart. Regular unleaded gasoline has 114,100 BTUs per gallon. Ethanol has only 76,100 BTUs per gallon. So if it costs $4 in gasoline to go from point A to point B, it will cost more than $6 to go the same distance with ethanol due to its low energy. Ethanol has low energy. It has one-third less energy than gasoline. And so it requires 51% more ethanol to go the same distance that you would go with gasoline. And the oil companies are charging you the same amount as they charge for gasoline. They're robbing you without a gun. So get your wallet out and prepare to hand all your money to the oil companies because it's very cheap to produce ethanol and they're charging you for it as if it were gasoline. Do you know the reason why they started using ethanol in the first place? You might think it's the money, and I agree the money is an incentive. People have to buy 51% more ethanol at the same price of gasoline to go the same distance that gasoline would take them, so the oil guys are making a killing off the light beer drinkers at the pump. The fluoride heads have no choice. There's another gun to your head forcing you to do what government demands, or they'll pull the trigger. Remember, government is force, and government is full of conspiracies, and ethanol is one of them. Are you a conspiracy theorist yet? When are you going to come up to speed? You're almost the last one to join us. What's in your water, boy? Fluoride? Think, man. That fluoride is killing your brain. Now, ethanol is a small carbon chain, and unleaded gasoline is a long chain by comparison. And they put ethanol in your gas, and they don't tell you the real reason. You think it's the money, and I'm about to tell you the real reason, but I don't want to frighten you. You know who the Committee of 300 is, don't you, boy? Well, they have an agenda. I'm trying to stop them by spreading the truth, but some people have so much fluoride in their drinking water that they just don't want to join the Conspiracy Theorist Club, and they're holding out on us, you know? 
The real reason they put ethanol in your gasoline is not the money. Though there is a lot of money in charging you the same for ethanol as they do for real gasoline, and it's true that it takes 51% more ethanol to go the same distance as gasoline takes you, the real reason they put ethanol in your gas is that well, you know, if I tell you, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that I'm a conspiracy theorist. And you're going to try to make the case that all conspiracies are fantasy. But actually, almost all conspiracies that you find are real. There isn't just one conspiracy. There are thousands of them. They're everywhere. Try looking into anything and you'll find more than a handful of men organized to cheat you, control you, and own you, and take from you, and that's a conspiracy. How much fluoride did you say you're uptaking every day, boy? Better cut down on that stuff. It's making you dumber than nails. Anyway, why don't you find out the real reason that they put ethanol in your gasoline? Because if I tell you, you won't believe me. I don't want to argue with a fluoride head or a light beer drinker because they think it's really beer. Okay, let's wrap it up, shall we? Premium gasoline takes you farther than unleaded regular gasoline, and it has a higher octane, which means it explodes later in the piston cycle. Ethanol never explodes because it has too little energy to explode, and I can't make it any simpler than that.